Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Ray Dolan live from the back of the bus. I'm here with Nathan, and Nathan is just home from Germany at the moment. Uh, Nathan Johnson, so everyone from Mullingar will know Nathan. But he's been on a world tour for a long, long time. But he's bringing his band, and that's the Angels of Libra. 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 So I said, Libra. It's, in, it's, in, it's your star sign. It's yeah. your star sign, no? It's my, it's my ex-girlfriend's star sign. Okay. <laughs> and uh, April the 26th, they're going to be in uh, Mullingar in the stables. And this is an eight-piece soul collective based in Germany. So they're on a world tour at the moment. They're selling out all across Europe and they come to Mullingar very, very soon indeed in the 26th of April. Tickets on sale on the link above. We'll put, put that link in. This man is after doing two albums with the boys and uh, we're going to do a ticket giveaway as well. All you have to do is share, like and tag your friends to get in the competition to win two tickets. Now, he's here himself. He's brought this magnificent guitar with him and uh, where did this come, car, guitar come from? Because you have one across the world, I believe. Somewhere, there's one everywhere. Uh, they're, the yeah, they're floating about the place. Uh, yeah, I mean, th no, this one I actually got in Ireland. This is a Gretsch Electromatic, and I just, uh, this is sort of a, you know, a dream guitar. I wanted to have the White Falcon, but I couldn't afford the White Falcon, so I ended up with the, with the Electromatic. Well, after the world tour, maybe, yeah. maybe he'll just go to the shop and say, I'll take that one. <laughs> and I'll take a black one as well and maybe and probably some cases as well for it because they're very important tell us yeah. a little bit about yourself now we have been watching you for years and years and years we've been uh, going live with you on our Facebook page you were in Germany yeah. you were doing a lot of solo work give us sort of beginning when you left yeah. when did you leave to come back to us so I I suppose the last time we spoke was probably in 2019 yeah was it and I think we did a call I was in Germany I was in Hamburg, I was in the pub. Good actually, man, good man. When you were calling me, so we didn't plan that one very well, but it, yeah. uh, it worked out. That was with my solo. I was still working under the name Cyan Hill, which is my solo project for uh, six, seven years. So yeah. I, left, I left Ireland when I was 22. So wow. I went to college in Dublin. I moved to uh, Berlin for a year, moved to Hamburg for two years, and then I moved to London. And I've been in London the last five years. Right. Um, so I've, I wouldn't say now I've gigged all over the world, but I've gigged all around Europe, certainly uh, a few gigs in the States, and uh, yeah, it's now, been, it's been Are you a full-time musician, or are you like ourselves, doing a bit now and again? At the moment I'm full-time, but yeah, uh, I came back here to Mullingar in September, uh, and I planned coming here for a month, ended up uh, staying here for four months, and I ended Mother's up... Mother's cooking, uh, you see. Yeah, Mommy's cooking. <laughs> Uh, I ended up working out in Bloomfield Hotel. Brilliant. Um, I suppose that's what most most artists, most musicians I know are doing something on the side. You have to, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, the, the way things were, the way we were shut down there for two years, literally everything was broken and we all had to sort of sit back and say, no, yeah. it's a story lads, you know. Yeah. So fair enough, we got into the bus and doing our own thing. Um, but you started, you were on solo. So when did the band appear? When did the band so appear? So I was, uh, while I was living in Hamburg, I was recording an album there, and I was in the studio, and there was the door was open in the studio, and we were on a break, and there's a few different rooms there where there's different bands recording at the same time. So right. it's sort of like a little chill out area where everyone hangs out and, and chats, and you often meet other musicians from different projects. The Beach Boys were there one of the days I was there. Go away. You had Pete Doherty, the Libertines were there. Go away. So you just sometimes you meet these people. That's the beauty of going to do <laughs> a recording studio sometimes. Anyway, one, one, one of the days I was on my break and I was just playing the piano and singing and this fella came to the door and was listening in and asked, would you be interested in singing on, on one of my uh, one of my recordings? I'm doing this project with this band based in Hamburg. So he sent me the song and I really liked the song. I thought it was, it was very interesting. It reminded me of uh, Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds and I had this sort of, if you've watched Peaky Blinders, the intro theme song from Nick Cave. It's this red right hand. Right. You know the tune? I don't know the tune. I it's don't got know this the... big bell that yeah. starts it off. And it's got a bong. <laughs> it's got a bong. <laughs> it's got the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Yourself and Owen. Uh, so yeah, I, I thought it was great. I just, I really liked the vibe. I wrote some lyrics and sent him something back. Right. Very half. Loose, the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, didn't really have a plan of this, but he mm. came back to me a few weeks later being, saying the band loves it. They're all mad for it when I could fly to the studio and record it properly with them. So I went back there, I don't know where I was at this point, but I flew back to Hamburg, recorded this song. Um, I think I was in, living in London then, so I, I was kind of flying over and back, 
finishing this one song, I called the song Angel of Libra. And the band liked the song so much they named the band after the song. Because this was just a studio project, there was no band at the time. Wow. So yeah. Um, and then things sort of progressed from there. The, the project was sort of a soul collective. So it's a bunch of musicians doing soul music from actually all around the world. There's a guy from Hong Kong, our sax player from London. Uh, there's a Croatian girl in the band. So they're, they're from everywhere. There's 10 people in this, in this group and it's sort of growing all the time. And they sent me a bunch of new songs to record some stuff. And, you know, we were talking over and back and then the pandemic happened. Mm -hmm. And then the guy who's recording all this music, Dennis Rooks, uh, he's a producer, he's an engineer from Bremen in Germany, he lives in Hamburg. His studio had a massive explosion, blew up, he lost all the recordings, so we had to start again. So that was sort of the turning point for me, 2020, I was doing my solo music, yeah. I was taking a bit of a break from, from gigging as everyone was, mm -hmm. and I was trying to figure out what am I doing next, and yeah. this project sort of happened, it came across, uh, it came onto my lap basically, and um, I just said, yeah, let's let's try and do something with this. So with all the the recordings that have been destroyed, we had to start again. So we started working on some new music over and back on the internet. Uh, eventually, I went to Germany and we recorded an album. And uh, yeah, how long did it take to record the album? You did it all done in one day. It's, yeah, oh god, I wish. <laughs> yeah, that took some time. A few more flights. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the album is, it came out 2022, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, I didn't expect to have it, my own name on it, but they sort of insisted that my name is attached to this, so it's Nathan Johnston and the Angels of Libra, you can get wow. it actually in Wilfs in Mullingar, oh, right. is, is selling the records. We've since then we've done another album, we've done a second record uh, called Revelations. This one I'm mainly uh, just playing guitar, I feature vocals on one song, but the whole project started as this soul collective. So it's a bit like what you do with the band where you have various singers mm -hmm. coming up and down on uh, the stage. Right, yeah. It's based off these French uh, soul review concepts from the 60s where you have this house band right. and then you have you know one sing and a kind of a lead singer they might do three or four songs and then they come off and you have another singer comes forward wow. to the set. So it's very similar to what you'd be doing actually, I think. It's pretty interesting, I didn't realise that, that you had that 10 piece band on the stage as well. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I don't know, for me it's a blessing to play with that many people, I'd love to do that. It is, and it's a great support as well because yes. you have all the musicians right. around you and you play a bit of guitar and you play a bit of keyboards and then you can contact them and you chat and say yeah. what do you think lads and they can give you feedback, especially when you're creating new music as well which is beautiful but uh you're going to do a tune for us on that magnificent guitar yeah so uh um, don't forget this gig is coming up 26th it's a world tour they're coming to mullingar and uh, they're going all over ireland i think you're going to be in where else? we're, we're in Mulling mullingar friday the 26th yep. of april uh 27th of april we're in galway and monrose okay and on the 28th and the sunday night we're playing in dublin in the sound house on the keys Beautiful. So yeah, eight piece band. We don't have quite as many numbers as you do, but eight is enough. It's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> eight is a big van. Eight, eight is a big van. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, gonna be a lot of fun. It's really, really nice to come back and play in Mullingar again. So yeah, if you're if you're watching, uh, Friday the twenty sixth of April. Yeah. Uh, come down. We're playing in state in the stables in Smitty's um, down the back, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's quite a big set, and we've got Ben Mulligan. Local, local man uh, opening up the night. So you would have grown up with Ben then as well, would you? Do you know what? I didn't I didn't know Ben that well until the last few years, actually. Right. Yeah. Since I've, I've been coming back home a, a bit more in the last years and it's nice to sort of connect with other musicians around in Mullingar. So. But yeah. we still have it going on. Like it's, uh, yeah, you yeah. Find it, how do you find the scene in Mullingar compared to the world scene or wherever you're in the world? Like no, Mullingar is an amazing music town. I think it's every time I do an interview with anyone from Ireland or anyone outside of Ireland as well, when they, they ask me about Mullingar, they always find it something on the internet that it's the, the musical mecca of Ireland. This seems to come up all the time. So it is, and there's so much music here all the time, and I think that's... Um, that's something that's inspired me as well, yeah. you know, so... Especially when you're far away as well, you're looking yeah. back on home and you're thinking, you know, like, you miss home and all that type of thing and you're, you're living in your own, maybe you're living in Germany, you're living in uh, England or whatever, but to be a part of the diaspora, looking back in, going, sure, God, it all is still happening, you know? Yeah, yeah, The music absolutely. is still coming through, you know? I, and there's, whenever I come back, I try and come down to the... Uh, Jam sessions, they have open mic and jam sessions. Uh, Colombia, there's one on Thursday night with uh, 
I think it's a Jack and Paulie doing that one. Yeah. And there's always so many talented people getting up. Young young people like yeah, yeah. like 17, 18 years old going up and playing amazing songs. So that's it's lovely to come back here and, and be a part of that sometimes as well. Right then, you better give us a tune. So what tune are you gonna play? Is this from the first album or the so, second album? So that's the thing. So I've actually got a new song coming oh. out on the um third of May. Brilliant. It's not with the Angels of Libra, it's okay. a solo track, so I don't know, is it worth playing this or do you want to hear some Angels stuff? She will play one of them anyway. Um, play that, your, your new tune and... Play uh, the new one. Where can we get this new tune? Be on Spotify or where? Uh, you can get it on Spotify, you can get it on uh, Bandcamp. I'm actually, what I normally do is I put the song up a few days before on Bandcamp. Okay. Uh, which is, uh, you can only buy it there, so... Brilliant. If you want to support me as an artist, or if you want exactly. to support any artist, always hop on their band camp and see what they have available for merch and so on. It's always good. Spotify, you get paid nothing. Everyone pretty much knows this now. You get yeah. pennies. Um, if anything, if the song blows up, you can you can do well, of course, but it's pretty rare. And if it does happen, uh, generally you're with the label and they take most of the money anyway. So. Uh, the question for you is, are you uh, Nathan Johnston on this new song? Yes. Yes, yes, so he's yeah. using the name. So, yeah, you can find me uh, at, actually, it's still on Instagram, it's still my old um, stage name, so it's at Cyan Hill Music, S I O N Hill, like Cyan Hill in Mullingar, the, the place name. Okay. Otherwise, you can find me on Facebook, Nathan Johnston, or on uh, Twitter, Nathan Johnston as well. You'll find me there, Johnston with a T. Johnston yeah. with a T. Trent, find some space to play this little one. Okay then. <clears throat> right then. So what's the name of this tune? This is called All The Stages. Okay. I'm tired eyes. I'm staying up too late at night. There's too much pressure on you. When you are young, we got so much more to learn But there's too much pleasure, it's true Student loans and unemployment Cost of living is always rising Never had a chance even when you started Somebody else do it all in the gutter I've come through all the stages There's no way that we can lose It's all so overrated Will anybody tell me the truth? Don't underestimate it No, we don't make up the rules This is the generation Education that threw it all away Don't throw it all away yeah. Lullabies are playing in your dreams at night Does it get much better than this? With all the lies they sold to keep us occupied And strive for measures too big for you Oil the lamps, let's meet our makers And through the looking glass out of the fire When we come back we'll reignite Why is it that we for a while with desire? I've come through all the stages There's no way that we can lose It's all so overrated Will anybody tell me the truth? Don't underestimate it No, we don't make up the rules This is the generation Education, the tweet all away And the lights are all fading And the walls are all caving in Don't let it go to waste Don't throw it all away When you're tired of waiting For something to come your way Gotta stand up and take it Don't throw it all away Don't throw it all away Two jobs not by your choosing Everyone is living in mass confusion How can we save when there's no money? It's time to stand up, face the music I've come through all the stages There's no way that we can lose It's all so overrated Will anybody tell me the truth? Don't underestimate it No, we don't make up the rules 
knows this is the generation Education that we all away And the lights are fading And the walls are caving in Don't let it go to waste Throw it all away And you're tired of waiting For something to come your way You gotta stand up and take it All the way, 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 all bit of Jamaican going on there as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I always, like, I mean, we all grew up in Mullingar, but uh, um, I don't know what it is. We've got funk in Mullingar. Yeah. We've got reggae in Mullingar. We've got heavy metal in Mullingar. So all the, we pick from everyone, you know what I mean? Actually, I think it's funny because I feel like a lot of um, around Ireland genres and uh, subcultures are being, have been lost. Yeah. Something I, I really enjoy about when, when I lived in Berlin or living in Hamburg, there's a lot of these subcultures are still alive. You still have the punks, you really? still have the mods. Wow. Still, people still, you still have the '60s scene where they all have the mutton chops and the, and the women have the the pixie haircuts and all of this. It's really interesting to see that we don't really have a life fashion-wise. No. Um, but musically, we do actually. Yeah, it's yeah. there. There is something there. It's something for everyone. Is there? Because um, um, even growing up as a kid, I, we remember all the punks. We remember all the rockers. Mm -hmm. And uh, growing up in that, but probably is still coming through as uh, in the music because I said there's funk in the town and uh, some great funky bands in the town. Absolutely. You know? But look, uh, Mr. Johnson, thank you very, very much for joining us on board the bus. Don't forget the gig is going to be on the 26th. Now we're going to make a little reel after this and we're going to share this one. And that's the one that you want to, if you want to enter the competition for the tickets because uh, we're giving two tickets away. Is it two? Two tickets away, yeah. Okay, so we're going to yeah. make the video. Uh, all you have to do is like that one as well, share it and tag it, and that's the one that we're going to pick out uh, for the winner. The gig is going to be on the 26th. And for myself and Nathan Johnson, live on the bus, uh, great to have you all on board. Yeah. Feel free to share the post. And as I said, uh, music's coming home to Mullingar with yeah. Mr. Johnson yeah. and the boys. What's the band called? And the Angels of Libra. The Angels of Libra. Bye for now. Thanks for looking in, guys. She's in